Hey, Joe and Joey here with another no budget video quick disc review. We're down in Lubbock, Texas, where we visited uh, my friend Kirby Carter's store. He is the uh, the owner of Storm Disc Golf. They uh, they make Storm discs, and <laughs> yeah. we got our first two. What did we get? Uh, we got a. These are the crater. The crater. We got a yellow one and a purple one, uh, and. We're gonna check them out. They're supposed to be an overstable approach disc, kind of like a zone or what I, I use an entropy in my bag, but uh, I thought I'd give these a try. They look pretty cool. They um, pull it up. We got a real flat top with kind of a groove on top. So oh, you can see there's a little bit of a groove for your thumb. And um, <laughs> there's, there's Joey. It's got a very flat top and the rim is unique. Um, it's kind of thick on the edge. So we're getting all that mass on the outside edge, which is um, make, like adding to that overstability. So I'm excited to throw it. I've never thrown a storm disc and I've never thrown this one in particular. So I'm excited to see how they fly. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Forgot to mention, this is a 173. The yellow one is 173 grams. Uh, the purple one is 175. So uh, nice solid weight to them. Let's give them some throws. Good throw, Joe. Very overstated. All right, the shot I'm probably most likely to use this disc for is the forehand approach shot. That's, I, I need, because of how I throw forehands, I need something overstable. Uh, to give me that consistent finish so I don't roll it over. Uh, so I'm excited to see how this one flies. I'm just aiming kind of in those trees over there. All right, so that's the Storm Crater in the Category 1 plastic. We didn't mention the plastic, but uh, it's really nice and grippy. I really like the plastic. Um, it's got a kind of a, a textured feel to it. The groove top is, it's an interesting, I've never thrown groove top discs before, but it feels good in the hand. Um, I like it. What do you think, buddy? Well, I liked it. It was very consistent. Like, different ways I threw it, it, it went the same way. It yeah. landed in like close to the same spot. Yeah, I threw it uh, kind of flat. I threw it on a little bit of a hyzer. I threw it really hard. I threw it kind of at medium power. And it gave me very consistent flight patterns. Uh, like you said, you threw one on hyzer and one kind of flat. And they landed five, six feet apart of each other. So yeah. very, very consistent uh, disc, which is what you want out of a disc like this. Yep. The, um, the overstable approach discs like this, uh, consistency is key. It handled a lot of torque. Like I said, I threw it pretty hard and it still gave me that same consistent hyzer shot. Um, so yeah, I really, I do really like this disc. It might find a place in my bag. My, um, my entropy is starting to get a little beat up and it's hard to find a new one. So this could fill that slot. Yeah. So uh, pretty good like, for the forehand too. Yeah, like like consistent hyzer is, would, is very helpful. Agreed. I, I totally agree. And it kind of sat when it hit the ground. It didn't go too far after it hit. Yeah. So. You can like expect it to do that, like to do what you want it to do. And then like it, that makes it very helpful. So uh, right now, uh, Storm, check out their website. Um, otherwise, you have to go to their store here in Lubbock, which is pretty cool. Joey and I checked that out today. They have a, a great storefront. We're hoping to get some of these for sale up in Pennsylvania too in the not too distant future. So keep an eye out for that. All right. Hey, thanks for watching.